you are going to have to completely bleed your brake system after this job is completed. Do not try and drive the vehicle without completely bleeding the system, including activating the ABS pump with your scan tool. The reservoir is located under the front trim panel, red arrow. You do not need to remove all of the upper front trunk panels to perform this work, but it sure helps and gives you a lot more room to work. Need additional assistance with those tasks? Please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Begin by placing a bunch of towels down to catch any spills. Brake fluid is fatal to your paint. Make sure you do not get any on you or your clothes and then contact the paint surface. Disconnect the fluid level sensor from the master cylinder red arrow. Remove the cap and the strainer red arrow. You will need to use a fluid pump and drain the reservoir blue arrow. Since you're going to completely bleed the system, including activating the ABS pump with your scan tool, you can also open up the bleed nipples on one of the calipers with a catch bottle attached and pump the brakes until the fluid is removed from both the reservoir and down into the master. Now simply lift the reservoir up and out from the master cylinder. It is held in place by friction from the two grommets in the master, red arrows. If you are reinstalling the reservoir, make sure to replace these grommets. Installation is the reverse of removal. You're going to have to completely bleed your brake system, including activating the ABS pump with your scan tool to complete this job. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. But most importantly, do not try and drive your vehicle without completely bleeding the system with your scan tool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.